And he tells Kaiser hospitalizing a man the size of a teenage boy will be his responsibility and his responsibility alone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's Gunther for you. <laughs> yeah, but Gunther's Triple H's too. That's his baby. That's his Roman, maybe. I think it actually is. Yeah. Which is not good for him, but it still is. How is that not good for him? Well, we already talked about it. Okay. Maybe LA Knight should be his cash cow. Because um, you can't, it can't be Gunther. It can be Gunther. I need you to watch this movie called Best of the Best 2. There's a guy named Brackus. He's the top like champion in this underground fighting thing. He's like European. And he's big and jacked and shit. And the way they talk about him and the way they revere him. That's how what I see in Gunther. Uh, did you not see it? Well, okay, well, we'll get to everything. Oh, it's good that you kind of mentioned that. I thought that was just on the stream I was watching. The best video package ever? Well, is it the one where like everybody's turning to dust as he chops them? And yes. Like, okay. And they're, they're, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought that was just on the stream I was watching. Nope. And I was like, man, that, I can't believe this didn't make TV. <laughs> the greatest video package ever. There's fire and chops people are turning into dust and there's kicking and it's all gunther and bronson reed it's just a build up for that it was a great presentation i loved it yeah so it was voiced by ludwig kaiser he's doing his ladies and gentlemen and then yeah get the shots of gunther chopping someone and they from the impact of it turn to dust and then he would kick someone, and then they turned to dust. Power bomb someone, they turned to dust. He was basically Thanos. Yes. It was great. And you're telling me that he can't be, like, top of the mountain? Keep presenting him like that. I mean, I guess we'll have to see where it goes. Because, again, WWE as a whole is catered toward casuals. And your casuals need your over-the-top guys who LA Knights and Stone Cold Steve Austin's The Rocks. Yeah, you can have the colorful baby faces that are climbing the mountain to try to defeat Gunther, but Gunther can still be your ace. I mean, it all depends on how they present him, though. Yeah, but I do see that, yeah, this is Triple H's Roman Reigns. That's what I thought about <laughs> when this package was going on. I'm like, yep, yeah, this is his Roman Reigns. Yeah. For better or worse. And it's for the better, 100%. Gunther is by far the best thing in WWE right now. Probably the best thing in wrestling. That's true, but you got the casuals. Casuals don't care. Fuck about the that, casuals. Right? <laughs> You're right now. They're losing the hardcore fans. Get them back first. The ratings are with the casuals, as AEW has shown. Yes, but it, but the people that say, "Oh, I'm going to watch no matter what." If those people are leaving, you need to work to get them back first. Then you can worry about the people that might tune in every other Monday. Just my thought. Oh. I think we're going to have time to find out because <laughs> this is happening. This is coming our way. Gunther is going to be the top of the billboards. The, the see that's the, here's another thing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you got, and this is probably, this might be a dated reference, but you know, you got Roman Reigns. He goes to like the Conan O'Brien show, the David Letterman show, the what's that little dude who like giggles at his own jokes. Jimmy, uh, Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> With the roots. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, can you see Gunther going out there and going on them shows? Yes. I've seen. Have you heard him do interviews? No. Well, okay then. Him doing an actual interview versus a scripted promo is completely different. Gunther's actually pretty well tears spoken. Away his his steak. I said, then that also tears away from the mystique, though. No, not at all. Because he still takes it. He's. He keeps kayfabe without insulting your intelligence. That's the best way I can describe it. Okay. I'll send you an interview. It was actually well done. Was it with Conan? No. Or is it, was it Conan? Is Conan the right one? Yeah. Coco or whatever his little redhead. Is he on I the Kardashian show? Huh? Charlie D'Amelio show? Huh? No, and I hope he would never. Jennifer be. Hudson apparently has a show. <laughs> <laughs> Gunther will go on David Letterman and that is it <laughs> that's the only one you can say. what about the, the late late show guy Corn Cor Corman I don't know 
You know, I'm surprising myself that I know these many names to begin with. So me too. Let's just go go ahead and move on. <laughs> so then we get an awesome Bronson Reed video package. And I like seeing Bronson Reed all cleaned up and well spoken and in the suit. I think it's a nice contrast between the big bulbous monster that squashes people. Yeah, it does clean up nice. But yep, yeah, still looking forward to this match. Okay. <laughs> okay is right because my friend all of us witness greatness yet again big bronson reed versus the ring general gunta for the intercontinental heavyweight championship and holy fuck was this awesome and exceeded all of my expectations because i honestly didn't have any i didn't know what to think coming into this match because i'm not really that big of a fan of bronson reed i gotta be honest with you he's just there he's just been there He's lost to, I think he's lost to Ricochet, hasn't he? Probably. Like he came in as the this big hulking monster, but then he's he lost to the likes of Shinsuke when Shinsuke was a joke, and he lost to to Ricochet, and I think he lost to Chiampa. He was protected there for a little bit. I don't think he was like lost clean to them. I don't know, but then they they insert him into like the elimination chamber and stuff, and he never really did anything. He was just a big guy for people to lift. He said Ni- Nia Jax. <laughs> Nia Jax. I was going to say Piggy Nevin, but... Oh. She's, either she, work. She's not there for just show. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's a champion. And she's wearing a a Warriors... A we, let's not... Let's nope. not... So, no, we're not <laughs> <Yes>. sullying <laughs> Gunther. Let's talk about with, what's more important here. With these, with these skirts. <laughs> <laughs> we did this during the mid segment. <laughs> yes talk about all the titties you brought her up i don't know i don't even know why there's a reason why i did you were comparing bronson reed to her oh yeah yeah, yeah. because i've never been like that big of a fan with him but i think gunther did a good job of kind of putting he made him look great he made me a fan of of bronson reed after this match he beat the fuck out of bronson reed too He was beating his little fat ass all over the ring like early on when he did the the big boot and then bronson reed ran to the ropes and then gunther chased after him and did that like immediate big boot after that. Like, oh fuck. And he chopped him in the back just out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Bronson laid it in too. Like just before he did the superflex, he smacked the shit out of Gunther. He smacked him like a woman. Hit him with a brain buster. Well, it was more of a buster. death rally driver, but when was the last time you've seen a DVD? I'm on SmackDown when Cena does it. He does the attitude adjustment. This was a DVD. Like his is a Death Valley driver. Cena's? Yeah, that's a Death Valley driver. No, that's not. A Death Valley driver is the driver. Driver. He doesn't drive. He throws them over. Well, just because he doesn't do it right doesn't mean it's not a Death Death Valley driver. (laughs) He does it ultra safe. (laughs) Anyway, yeah, this was a great match. Once again, should have been on Crown Jewel. Don't know why the fuck. Gunther, the greatest thing in wrestling right now is not on the fucking pay-per-view and he's relegated to a house show. He's the only one really bringing prestige to his title. Ah. Hashtag put Gunther on pay-per-view. Put Gunther on pay-per-view. I forgot I got to start that hashtag on social media. Well, this is social media, but you, you get it. Yeah. And there's this nice little moment of respect after the match too, because like I said, they both smacked the shit out of each other. Gunther, uh, I think he said the mat is sacred and Bronson Reed just like, nodded knowingly like yeah we fucked each other up <laughs> your thoughts it was everything i thought it was gonna be and then some yeah i already knew it was gonna be a hard-hitting affair of course and it lived all the way up to it so everything i thought was gonna happen happened the only thing is like i didn't expect bronson reed to win and like there wasn't really a moment where i thought he was gonna win i didn't either there was a a little kernel of well, this is a season premiere, so you know something is likely to happen. Imperium are backstage, and Kaiser and Vinci, they congratulate Gunther. And then Gunther congratulates Kaiser, but tells Vinci he's a fuck-up. And Vinci's like, whoa, 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 whoa wait, I, I helped him win the match. What are you talking about? Gunther then turns to Kaiser and says, Earlier I saw G- Gargano after your match with him, and he was still walking around. Next week, after his match with Vinci... I expect to see him stretchered out. 
And he tells Kaiser hospitalizing a man the size of a teenage boy will be his responsibility and his responsibility alone. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's got there for you. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I don't like the DIY Imperium feud, though. But whatever. Can't have your cake and eat it, too. At least we have Gunther. <laughs> 